Hi everyone, it's me again, Ma Marielle, and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So ngayon nga is may panibago na naman tayong video. And ang video na ito nga is for grade 6, second quarter. And it's all about the ratio and proportion involving the direct proportion, the inverse proportion, and the partitive proportion. Okay, so kung bago ka pa nga lang dito sa aking video or dito sa aking YouTube channel, please huwag mo muna kalimutang mag-subscribe. I-like tong video and of course, i-hit mo na din yung notification bell down below para naman syempre palagi kang updated whenever na nag upload ako ng mga tutorials dito sa YouTube. And of course, huwag nyo na din po ang kalimutang i-follow sa aking mga social media accounts in here kasi updated din po ako sa TikTok and Facebook um, page ko. And syempre, kung nakakatulong sa inyo yung mga videos ko, please consider sharing this to your classmates and friends para syempre lahat tayo ay matuto. And yun naman talaga yung goal ng YouTube channel ko. Ang maraming students na ma-reach para mas matulungan kayo sa inyong mga mathematics subject or mga math problems. Okay, so ayun lang. Without further ado, without any daldal, tara na. Simulan na natin ang pag-aaral. So if ever gusto nyo muna matuto all about ratio and proportion, meron na po akong uploaded niyan. Dito sa aking YouTube channel, puntahan nyo lang sa aking grade 6 playlist uh, para mas knowledgeable enough kayo all about ratio and proportion para naman syempre mas madali na lang sa inyo si direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. Okay, so ang una nga natin i-discuss is the direct proportion and when we say a direct proportion, it is an equality of a ratio wherein when one quantity increases, the other one increases as well. Okay? Or vice versa. When one quantity decreases, the other one decreases. Okay? Palaging kapag ka may tumataas, pataas din yung another quantity. ba? Ang ratio is dalawa niyan. Tama? So, for example, uh, meron kang bibilhin. ba? Sa pagdami ng bibilhin mo, uh, let's say for example, school supplies. Sa pagdami ng school supplies na bibilhin mo, sa paglaki ng bayad. ba? When one quantity increases, the other increases as well. Tama? Sa pagkonti ng bibilhin mo, sa pagkonti din ng bayad. Yun lang naman yung sinasabi sa atin ni direct proportion. Kaya nga siya direct. Directa siya talaga na pataas kung pataas, pababa kung pababa. Yung mga quantities. Okay? Let's say for example, we have here a problem to solve. Okay? So, Dina bought 5 mangoes for 125 pesos. How many mangoes will she get if she buy it for 350 pesos? Okay, so when it comes to um, this kind of problem, kailangan marunong tayo sa analyzation. Okay? And of course, marunong din tayong humanap ng mga given and paano natin siya ipoportray sa isang uh, formula, ganyan. Okay, for this one, in a direct proportion, what are we going to do is kunin muna natin yung mga ratio which is yung mga partnership, okay? Yung mga ratio para makabuo tayo ng isang proportion. Okay, for example, Dina bought 5 mangoes for 125. Therefore, that is 5 is to 125. Tama? Wait, lagyan natin ito ng direct. Direct proportion. Okay. Kung si Dina ay bumili ng limang mangga for only 125 pesos, gaano tayo kadaming mangga ang mabibili niya kung meron siyang 350 pesos? Therefore, ang nawawala dito is yung mangoes. Kung lima is to 125, therefore we have N is to 350. Tama? Ito ang 5 mangga to. Itong N mangga din. Kasi yung isang N yung nawawala. Yung kung gano'ng kadaming mangga. Ito naman, prices nila or yung halaga ng pera na katumbas ng mangga. Tama? So therefore, what are we going to do is to solve this. ba Kung alam nyo na kung paano mag-solve ng proportion, ng nawawalang term in a proportion, you have the means and extremes, ba 
So, nandun yan sa una kong video. Inilink ko yan dito sa taas. Para naman, syempre, mapuntahan nyo muna siya before you proceed to this lesson. Okay? So, what are we going to do is to multiply the means and the extremes. Because palaging the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Anin pa ang means? Diba ito ang means? And ito ang extremes. Tama? Therefore, what are we going to do is to multiply. 125 times n, that is 125n, equals the product of the extremes. 5 times 350, that is 1750. Okay? So, malapit na natin makuha yung N, which is uh, yung manga na mabibilis sa 350. Ayan. So, what are we going to do is to eliminate the coefficient na kasama ni N. Diba? So, by simply dividing both sides by 125. Okay? Therefore, cancel. N is equal to 1,750 divided by 125 is equal to 14. Therefore, ang ating N is equal to 14. Diba? Sa limang mangga, ang presyo niya ay 125. Sa 14 na mangga, ang presyo niya is 350. And when we say direct proportion, sa pagdami ng bibilin mo, sa pagtaas ng presyo. Diba? Kanina, lima lang, naging 125 lang yon. Pero nung 14 pieces na yung bibilin mo, 350 na yung price. Diba? That is what we call the direct proportion. Okay, so now, let's move on to the inverse proportion. So, itong inverse proportion, syempre, kabalik na siya ni direct proportion. Okay? Um, when we say inverse proportion, it is an equality of ratios that when one quantity increases, the other one decreases. Okay? Kung ang isang quantity ay pataas, yung isang quantity ay pababa. Okay? And vice versa. When one quantity decreases, the other one increases. Okay? Unlike sa direct proportion, parehas silang increases, parehas decreases. Pero ito, balik tara. Increases, decreases. Decreases, increases. Okay? That is an inverse proportion. And the best example of an inverse proportion is the time and travel. Paano natin nasabi yun? Kasi, when, let's say, for example, pupunta ka ng Manila, di ba? So, kung gaano kabilis yung pagda-drive mo, when, let's say, nakasakay ka sa kotse mo, oh, sana ang may kotse. Uh, kung gaano kabilis ka mag-drive, therefore, the less the time you will consume. Di ba? Kung gaano kataas yung, uh, ang tawag ba doon, yung kilometer per hour, ganun, di ba, sobrang taas mo mag ng metro mo sa pagpapatakbo. Diba? Therefore, konti lang yung time na makokonsume mo. Diba? When one quantity increases, the other one decreases. And that's what we call the inverse proportion. Another example, kasi medyo nakakalito pala yun kanina. So, another example is sa trabaho. Diba? Kung gano'ng kadaming tao ang gumagawa, konti lang yung time na makokonsume nyo para matapos yung isang project. Tama? Same with our problem number two involving the inverse proportion. So, sana na-gets nyo. And let's have here our problem number two. And I'm gonna read it for you. A construction site hired five people to finish the project in six days. Okay? Nag-hire daw ng limang tao para matapos ang project in six days. If the company hired ten people... How many days will the project be done? Therefore, what are we going to do is kunin muna natin yung mga ratios na meron sa problem. Um, kapag ganito yung situation, dapat marunong tayo mag-analyze. Okay? So, 5 is to 6, di ba? 5 people is to 6 days. Tama? Equal. 10, if the company hired 10 people, therefore we have 10 is to N. Tama? Kasi wala pa yung days kung ilan ang matatapos ng 10 tao. No? So what are we going to do dahil meron tayong proportion dito? Uh, diba ito ang ginawa natin sa pagkuha natin ng mga given? Ang ginawa natin is direct. Okay? Direct kasi 5 is to 6. 
10 is to n. So, what are we going to do? Sa inverse, iba siya. Magiging iba yung process. Ang gagawin natin is to get the ratios in same quantity. Okay? Let's say, for example, sa tao sa tao, araw sa araw. Parang ganon yung magiging mangyayari sa ating inverse proportion. Therefore, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 people and 10 people. Dapat sila yung magkasama sa isang ratio. 5 is to 10 equals ito namang 6 days tsaka yung um, days na hinahanap natin for the 10 people. Kung saan nakalagay yung 10, dapat uh, mag, mag fit pa din siya sa means and extremes, ba? So sa 10 people, and days yung hinahanap natin, tama, is to 5 people is 6 days. Therefore, we have our new proportion as 5 is to 10 is equal to n is to 6. So medyo nakakalito lang sa inverse proportion uh, kung kayo ay mga grade 6 students pa lang. But of course, if you think about it critically or you have the knowledge and na-push nyo na yung... Um, hats nyo or higher order thinking skills and marunong na kayo mag-analyze <laughs> ng mga problem. Kaya nga problem na yung binibigay ko ngayon, hindi na masyado tayo sa mga given na direct na kagad. Para syempre, marunong din kayo in real life. Okay? So, what are we going to do is to solve this like a proportion. Yung kagaya lang din ang ginawa natin kanina, ito lang yung nag-iba. Okay? So, we have the product of the means 10 times n equals 10n is equal to the product of the extreme. So, we have 5 is to 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Cancel 10. Kasi we are going to eliminate 10. n is equal to 30 divided by 10. That is 3. Therefore, our n is 3. Okay? And we have 3 also in here. So, 5 people, 6 days. 10 people, 3 days lang. Diba? Sa pagdami ng tao, sa pagkonti ng araw na makoconsume para matapos yung isang project. And that is what we call the inverse proportion. When one quantity increases, the other one decreases. As simple as that. Okay, so now let's move on to the partitive proportion. And this is the last na uh, equality of ratios na discuss natin. Okay, so the partitive Proportion. And when we say, or from the word itself, part, parang ito na yung parte-parte, no? So, it has something to do about parts, okay? So, when we say partitive proportion, it is a whole divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. Meaning to say, we are talking about a whole, okay? And we are going to divide them um, using the given ratios, Okay? Two or more ratios. Okay? So, we have here our example number three. And this is under the quantitative proportion. And I'm gonna read it for you. Marie, Anna, and Beth are siblings. Okay? Magkakapatid daw si Marie, si Anna, at si Beth. They bought 27 pieces of candies in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. How many candies? Each of them will have. Okay? Kung si Marie, si Anna, at si Beth daw ay bumili ng 27 pieces in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. Si Marie, 2. Kay Anna, 3. Kay Beth, 4. Gaano daw kadaming candies ang mapupunta sa bawat isa? Okay? So, uh, itong ano, partity proportion, ito yung masasabi kong pinakamadali sa tatlo. Okay? Kasi... Ganito lang siya kasimple. Kunin mo lang yung 2 is to 3 is to 4 na yan. 2 is to 3 is to 4. Equal mo lang yan sa ating um, ahul. Ito yung sinasabi nating ahul or buo. Diba? Diba sabi sa definition, ahul that is proportional to the given ratios. Therefore, they are equal. Diba? So, what are we going to do is to put um, n in each uh, ratios. We have 2n, and then uh, gawin natin siyang addition. Plus 3n plus 4n is equal to 27. Okay? Lahat gagawin natin n. And then what are we going to do is to add. Diba? Dahil pare-parehas na yan na may variable na n. Therefore, lahat ng coefficients nila is may a-add natin sa isa't isa. Tama? So we have 
2 plus 3, that is 5, plus 4, that is 9. Therefore, we have 9n equal to 27. And then, ganun lang din ulit yung process. Um, tanggalin yung 9 by simply dividing both sides by 9 kasi n lang naman yung hinahanap natin, okay? So, n is equal to 3. Therefore, we have 3. Ngayon, paano mo malalaman kung ilang candy kay Marie, ilang candy kay Anna, and ilang candy kay Beth? Kung kay Marie is itong 2n, ito yung kay Marie, yung kay Anna is itong 3n, and yung kay Beth ay itong 4n, what are we going to do is to just substitute the value of n na nakuha natin to that specific ratio. So, we have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, ang mapupunta kay Marie ay 6 na candies. And then, we have 3 times 3, that is 9. Ang mapupunta naman kay Anna ay 9 na candies. And ang mapupunta naman kay 4 times 3, kay Beth, ay 12 na candies. Ganun lang kasimple. And when you add them, 12 plus 9 plus 6, that is equal to 27 candies. Ganun lang kasimple ang partitive proportion. Okay? So, I guess that would be all for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I hope na natuto kayo sa akin all about the um, direct, inverse, and partitive Proportion. So, kung nakatulong ko sa inyo, please huwag niyo muna kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like tong video, and of course, i-share niyo din ito sa inyong mga friends and classmates para syempre lahat tayo ay matuto. And that is all for this video. Always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Again, this is me, Mamariel, and see you on my next video. God bless everyone.